Hello everybody, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, yesterday I got into a, a great uh, dialogue with Classic Ruby on BJ's uh, Hangout. And we were uh, talking about the difference between uh, laws, theories, and facts. And um, I really enjoy Ruby because she she analyzes everything she says. And even when she, she probably won't agree with this, but even when she gets really emotional, with it, but uh, trying to prove her, because when your ego comes into play and you really want to prove a fact or prove your your thought to be right, uh, you sometimes can lose focus. So this is my assessment. But like she was talking about gravity, and because gravity exists, that we can prove that it exists, and it can be uh, represented in a mathematical uh, mathematical equation that uh, is consistent. We can say we have laws. Of gravity. The fact that gravity exists is observable and it's simple. So gravity can be a law when you say this is what we know by using this equation, it's work. And it can be a fact because it's simple and observable. You can take a rock and drop it anywhere on the planet, anywhere that we can go, anywhere that uh, people, humanity can go right now. We can observe gravity. You know, isn't Gravity is just a force that attracts to to mass objects. That's pretty just basically. I mean, people could probably describe it more, but anything that um, has mass um, has some type of gravitational effect, whatever it may be. And I I'm not speaking about it from the true scientific perspective. I'm just trying to say it in layman's terms from what I'm thinking at this time. So now there can be different theories on gravity, like. Um, how gravity affects time. And the reason that is a theory because um, we can't observe or um, we don't know everything about it. We just have an idea. So we can theorize it, but some of the, the, the problems can't be solved in this time. But what we, what we can solve and what we know is probably correct. So it is a theory. Now, where I get confused just a little bit is when people say, well, it was a theory and then it became a law. Um, that's kind of, I understand it, but I'm not sure if it's always uh, applicable because um, if they can figure the theory all the way out and then it is no more, no longer a theory, then of course, then it's a law because you can, uh, you, it's, it's solved and there's no more questions to be they ask. So, yeah, <laughs> that theory can become a law, but a lot of theories are not law. Um, we only know special relativity and uh, general relativity, but we can't um, test everything. And still, I know things that they haven't solved um, physicists, astrophysics on that level, which I wish I could delve into. Man, I think I would really enjoy that. Um, so, you know. Is a lot of things that are theoretical, like multi multiple dimensions. I think mathematically we can express it, but can we prove that um, in the quantum realm and the different realities exist? Did they exist? How do you prove that? So it's theoretical, correct? Now, the fact that I exist is is real. We know that Charles exists. Um, however, is there other life out there? Is that is a theory we we haven't uh, interacted and we can't prove it so it's theoretical so once that we can say life outside of our solar system exists then it's, it's, it becomes the fact of life that other life exists and um, like with anything I'm gonna try to see if I make sense with the law um, it's a rule and um, Obviously, rules can't be broken, but most likely under every single observable um, test, the rule has not been broken, so it's a law. You know, um, can we go faster than the speed of light? Um, what we call the speed of light a law. <laughs> is it a theory or is it a fact? <laughs> I think it's a law and a fact, but that's just from what we can observe. So, um, I am done with this. Oh, no, you know what? I'm going to go a little farther because I'm about to ramble a little bit. I just watch the most excellent video from Dr. Boyce Watkins and it was um, 
I'm still pondering it because he was discussing um, Jill Scott and the dysfunction between um, men and women. Specifically, he was speaking about black men and women, but I just go to men and women in general because there is such a disconnect because men and women, um, we don't think the same. And it's, uh, it seems that, okay, I'm biased because I'm a man. I'm going to think so many women think men think like them when in all actuality we do not. And most men know women don't think like we think. We know that. So uh, for anyone ever to say that there's no differences between the genders, uh, I, I genetically we know. Um, we know that um, we are different, you know, straight wise with how we look, what we think and what we enjoy and what brings us pleasure. And our motivations. Um, I'm not saying there's there can't be aberrations, there can't be anomalies, and people are um, more slanted to one side or the other. But in general, we are different. And um, when Boyce went over um, the dynamics of why relationships don't work, and um, he said something. I hope I paraphrase him correctly. Um, it was like, "Hey, don't ever say it's it's not your fault because." If a relationship works or doesn't work, usually it has something to do with you. It's not always the other person. So a lot of people need to reflect on themselves. And I think he said it. Think, what am I bringing to make somebody want to be with me? And that's what you need to think about. That's what I think about all the time. Why would a woman choose me? So, you know, that's all I have to say at this time. I can keep going on a longer ramble, but I'm not really trying to do all that. Um, I, uh, I never want to... I don't listen to everything Dr. Boyce Walken says because I have a lot of time, but some of the stuff he says um, I, I agree with. Um, uh, just like I agree with stuff that VGS says sometimes, and other times, you know, I, I have my own opinion, but I still respect them all. And um, I agree with uh, some things that Classic Ruby says, the unicorn. Um, I'm just doing a quick little ramble. Um, hopefully, I make some sense. And if I don't, oh well, I don't always make sense. Sometimes I just say, crazy stuff, which I haven't seen anything crazy right now. I just want to shoot this out there in the universe. Everybody does well. Um, if you want to have your interaction between men and women, because I'm not the enemy of women. I, I love ladies. I think you are fantastic. And I would never say um, anything uh, to make women think otherwise. However, I do think that, just like men do, a lot of women have skewed views and um, a lot of women, to me, um, uh, don't look at the dynamic like they should. They um, the sense of entitlement. I mean, you got ladies probably say the same for men, but the sense of entitlement from ladies about how the world should be uh, it just it kills me sometimes. Um, that's, that's all it is. That's all it is with me. I'm gonna cut this short because I'm going longer. Uh, just talking. Hope everybody feels great. I feel great at this time. Take care.